Okay, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and we are having our Tuesday meeting. Now, the word for this afternoon is, I will make your enemies your footstool. God told that to Jesus, and whatever is for Jesus is for us. Now, listen to this. What is a footstool? If you look at a footstool and you look at a goal that you want to reach and you look at your stature, you're not tall enough to reach that goal. So let's say you're in the kitchen and you want to reach the Cheerios on the top shelf and there's nobody in the house to reach it for you. So you've got to go and get the footstool. And you've got to climb up one or two steps to get to the point where you can reach your hand and get a hold of that thing. Well, there are things in your life you have to reach to get a hold of. There are things you have to stretch to get to. And there are times that spiritually or emotionally speaking, you're not at that stature yet. You're not tall enough. You're not, <clears throat> not at a high enough level. So what happens? Obstacles come. Problems come in your life. You think it's all an attack from the enemy, but not so. Oftentimes, that is the ladder, the step stool that you ought to step up on, on top of, which means that step is under your feet. You have authority over that obstacle. And when you take that authority over it and you reposition yourself mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually, what happens? You rise and rise and rise to the occasion. You grow in strength. <clears throat> you grow in spiritual stature. And one day, you're able to reach, in spite of the obstacle, you're able to reach that goal. You're able to reach that area in your life that God wants you to make it to. You press toward the mark of the high calling of God. You press, you reach, you stretch, you do whatever it takes. Let the problem be your footstool. Let the devil be your footstool. Don't let him climb up on top of you. That's backwards. You've got authority given by Jesus Christ. Use that authority. I don't care how intimidated you may feel. You're scared? Run to God like a little baby runs to his mommy or daddy. Ask God to show you, tell you where to read in scripture and speak into your spirit and get the strength, get the stretch you need to reach. Reach. Don't ever stop reaching. Don't ever stop stretching. I don't care how much you've grown. I don't care how far you come. You've got to reach. Life is about the reach. There's always something more to gain, always higher heights to grow to, always higher levels to attain to. But you never attain to it if you keep letting the enemy, the obstacles, the problems of life keep you down. You can't allow that to keep you down. You've got to get up. You've got to climb up over it, get around it, cut through it, whatever you got to do, bulldoze your way in the spirit, but get to the goal because what God has for you is for you and no devil in hell can stop you, but you got to ask God for wisdom, witty inventions, creative ideas, some things you've got to really be cunning and shrewd to get around. That's why the Bible says, be wise as serpents, but harmless as a dove. Mm. 
God will equip you and give you everything you need to keep your enemy under your feet. And every time your enemy rears his ugly head, step on top of that head, baby, and get what's yours. God bless you and be encouraged about that. No weapon formed against you will prosper. No weapon. <clears throat> so no. That if God has it in your sights, it's for you. And God will give you all the help to get you there and get it to you. Be encouraged. Amen.